Hello and welcome back to Disney Jewels Mac 1965. This is a special one-off um, with details about concierge on the Disney Dream. So when we got to the um, port drop-off, which was the Horizon Terminal, um, all the concierge people were put in the middle between the two doorways and that's where our line was. And that was the first line to go in because we get um, on the ship. Here's Mick and I, and uh, you'd be able to see Mick with his gold sticker on. That's what everybody gets who's in concierge. And there's my gold sticker. We were sat in the, after we'd gone through the security, all the concierge guests were sat in there, um, right in the middle of the, the seating, um, and everybody else had to sit either side. We had our own exclusive photo ops. And then we were first on to the um, gateway, which was good because that is a problem for me in my wheelchair. Um, so I don't like it when everybody's crowded onto there. Um, and if you're in a queue when there's lots of crowding, it's not good when you're in a wheelchair because you're having to stop, start, stop, start. And if you suddenly get tired and you you let control of it or whatever you'll be in the back of somebody's knees so um i much prefer getting on as a concierge guest because you're not all crammed in on the gateway um when you you go on board which is which is good so down the gateways and when the normal guests get on um, these are often very um, uh, full of people, which is not ideal. So, um, this is good because there's nobody about for me to, to get in, get over these bumps and then get round. Um, so, this is a particular um, good bit for me. Um, as far as getting on with the concierge. Gateway. These gate air bridges go on forever. Um, but it is important that um, you, you, you can see how good it is um, for the early get on. This was half past 11, by the way. So this we, we were really on quite quickly. Um, And when we got on, we were rounded up, you'll see, we were rounded up very quickly and taken to the Royal Palace um, for our concierge only meal. And here we go. Yeah, Having to stop to do our hands quite rightly before we go aboard. That's a cold moment, wasn't it? Thank you. It's a real hour, bro. And then <laughs> over the worst <laughs> bit for me, which is. Thank you. Over this. And then over onto this very small gangway, which is up. Fairly steep bit, and I, I didn't mm -hmm. do that because I had to be helped off the bottom bit. You get your thing scanned in, and then you give your name to the people who are in the room. Yeah. This is where you are. Here we go, that's us. Very exciting. Nice bit that is, very nice. And then you are then shown into the Royal Palace to get your concierge lunch. Yeah, And they look for your gold sticker, so they know your concierge. And then of course we had to go up the side bit. Um, 
and through the side door because we couldn't go any other way. Right here, Thank you. Here we go, and there's one of the concierge hosts. They three ladies this time, and they all wear grey suits. And they are normally to be found in the concierge lounge, and who will get on the phone and sort any problems out that you have. Um, and are very friendly and very, very supportive, which is good. the menu for the concierge meal there's Mick and of course we get free drinks in concierge which is really good and there's my mimosa and there's my potato and leek soup this is Mick's burrata well, it was huge it's like a Cornish pasty um, my roast salmon which was delicious and mixed roast lobster salad which also was delicious this is my all aboard sunday and mick had the carrot cake our room was ready our rooms are always first to be ready so we were in room eleven thousand. and then we go And it was Mick kindly doing a quick room tour for us. Um, this was a different room that we've had in the past. It's not a suite, but is an enlarged concierge room. It's an adapted room for um, an adapted family room, um, but it was just really good for two of us. Nice big bathroom. Um, I got them to add a toilet uh, riser on because the toilet was a bit low. Um, there was plenty of storage as usual. Um, nice area there for me to do my makeup. We got the bigger TV, which was good, and we got a higher. Uh, we got a bed that was just the right um, level, um, and then we had a big wardrobe, so we didn't really need a walk-in wardrobe this time either. So it was fine. We still had the robes and everything in there. Um, and we still had all the concierge privileges and believe it or not this room was six thousand uh, six thousand dollars cheaper so very happy to forego an, another bathroom and save all that sort of money on um, got more cupboards and things cupboards to couple dogs with really um, the fridge and the fridge is all loaded up with water and uh, sodas and of course the concierge cards are yellow see there then we had a nice balcony which was good um, and our cases always come early as well we've been Concierge, which is which is another good thing and then here we go this was a very odd balcony which is a very odd shape it's like an L shape but this bit was a kind of um, had a, a sort of semi-circle bit to it um, but it was very difficult to get in and out with my wheelchair so I didn't attempt that if I went out thank I had to walk um, and you can see here uh, the really nice carpets, um, which are different to the main ones. Um, sorry, this isn't the best filming you can imagine. This is my filming, this is, and this is us going out. 
and you can see the carpet there um, and then this going up to the concierge lounge the concierge lounge is on deck 12 so only one um, up from us and you got some lovely snacks there was the lovely um, afternoon tea scones you can get your drinks and take them down to the theatre and this on deck 13 was the um, sun, uh, sun deck for concierge so it had a massive jacuzzi which was really hot um, I couldn't get in it because there was no hoist or support or anything there but certainly could go onto the up onto the deck you can get up to he uh, to the um the sun deck from the concierge lounge which is there under the big uh, canopy um there's a set of stairs but of course that's no good for me so i have to go up in the lift and use my scan my card to get in but that's fine um there's lots of these uh like sun beds and things and it can be you can choose to be in the sun or, or not in the sun so it is a good area and here's a look at the jacuzzi um, it's got too many steps for me to get in and out of um, our usual tipples in the concierge lounge at night and here's a look at the concierge lounge this is the beautiful um, model of the Disney dream that is in the concierge lounge just as we go in and you can see it's very detailed um, and it's it's lovely to be able to go and uh, go and see that um, in fact the whole little corridor as you go in the concierge lounge has got lots of um, lots of little items for you to uh, to look at and uh, also all the menus um, for all the um, um, restaurants and everything are in there and this is how you get into the concierge lounge so out of the lifts on deck 12 um, those that's a way to the, the um, uh, you scan your card in and in you go so here you go there's the book there's the model you've just seen in detail and then this is into the lounge itself and these are some of the bits and pieces that you can you can see and here we go into the lounge lots of furniture in here so it was difficult for me to get in and out which is a bit frustrating um, but when it was quiet it was fine I could go and choose my bits from there and this is to our room we were on deck 11 and our room is on deck 11 so all we have to do is go past that pool through these doors there is a lip so you can see yeah. it's coming just to help me with the lip there so that was throwing me out of my um chair of course i'm careful there's the lips on deck 11 and then <coughs> round here why? Why are you? I'm going to tell you. Are you vlogging? Am I? That's what I do. And down. Are you vlogging? I am. I am. Yeah, yeah. My mum's been just cruising on And you'll notice that the doors, there's nothing on the, the room doors. And the reason for that is because um, they are wood veneered. People can put bits on, but you have to use very strong magnets. And you have to be prepared to be told to remove them at any point. Um, but lovely corridors, um, nice and wide, and also lovely, lovely carpets. Um, again, Disney carpets are always good. And down we go to the room. Right to the bottom. Here we go. 11,000. Right, over to me. Hello. So, this is our concierge room. 
it's been a different one because we haven't got all the furniture um, banging about which we had last year and this was six thousand dollars cheaper than the one we had last year so this one um came in at ten thousand dollars the one we had last year was sixteen thousand for seven night cruise so and really we didn't get on with it because the furniture was everywhere in here which is really nice um we can't see <laughs> there's nothing hardly anything there's just space which is what i need in my wheelchair so that's brilliant <coughs> the bed <coughs> has been lovely um good height not too high not too low bathroom great um and i'll take you in there when i can and show you how i managed um far better than i had even in the really expensive bathroom that's the only thing we found that having a bathroom each like we have at home um is really good that's the only thing we've missed in this room is having a bath uh, the bathroom um but other than that we've done really well with them um, this room this is one this is eleven thousand um right at the end of the first corridor of concierge um so but it has been really good and um, you know people look at it and go oh, well you know it's not quite the same but it is you've got the same carpet you've got the same curtains same quality of bed linen you can request whatever pillow you need um and it'll be there your fridge is filled up with your free drinks you get all the concierge perks um we've got some pixie dust in a fruit bowl when we got here and um the the tv is nice and big as well so it's worked out really well <laughs> do you like this print really nice got a good big telly which was really good because we were worried because of this sort of room but it's been wonderful this room has really worked for us lots of space and you can hear me in my wheelchair and this is where I come and do my makeup so I can come and do my makeup here which works really well I like having somewhere to be a girly I can get my wheelchair down the side of my bed, but I'm not going to be in the tank that one. Got coats hanging up for there. So we've just got the one bathroom in this um, room. And now it's the sad job of packing up. Which is very sad. So, I uh, managed to stand up. Um, this bathroom, yeah, lovely toiletries, LMS, brilliant. Um, toilet is really good in that they did put a toilet riser on for me so it makes it higher. And look, look, my big bugbear, not enough. Um, things to hold on to and they put a drop down handle there in the shower which means I can actually make this area easier to get up and off so really pleased with that and the shower is lovely um just a pity about the shower curtain but the water does drain away so well um I want to say it's got a drop down seat if needed and then there's the LMS products and everything there so bathroom big tick Really pleased with that. And where it says there's an emergency pull code, there, code, there is one. Um, well, we've not activated it because I'm mixed with me all the time. So hopefully that helps with the, this concierge room. This is 1100, sorry, 11,000. And um, it, uh, it, 
although it hasn't got two bathrooms, it was £6,000 cheaper to have this room than it was to have the room just down the corridor, which was 11006 which is a suite and had too much furniture in it and the bed was too high, so it didn't work. But this has been perfect. Really happy. Thank you. Right, thank you very much for watching. Please continue to um, follow our vlogs and uh, please subscribe because it helps our channel. Thank you so much.